Yeah, howdy, 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 howdy. Hey, we're, how's we're it going? Playing, we're playing Punch Out. We uh, oh, nope. we, re we recorded this before, but I don't think the episodes ever went up. Nope. No, they did as not. They all got you got lost. really angry, though. Well, That's for got, sure. Yeah. Got, as they say in the old country, butt fucked by the computer devil. That's correct. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be the one yeah, playing the this game. Country. Yeah, the old country. The old country. I'm the one playing this game because I can basically do this with my eyes closed. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm Amish. Yes. And that's all, always what my father used to tell half, me. Half Mexican, half Amish, half American. He said, Aiden, if you, if you leave our colony, you know what's going to happen. I was like, I know, Dad. And then we computer said it devil. together. Compu We're going to get butt fucked by I the know, Dad. Uh, anyways. Anyway, Brian, you had a. I've got a really good story sure. to tell you guys. Yeah, something about a bear. It's about a bear. What? <laughs> I had no idea about this. Um. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna talk over this whole episode because you know why not? Yeah, go for um, it. Um so basically this is a story told by my friend's theater professor to <laughs> her class. Okay. Oh God. And <laughs> she um she told this story, um, and they found it very oh, funny. And I forgot the button. <laughs> and my friend texted her boyfriend the entire transcript of this story, and I have I have screenshots of those exact texts. So I will be reading those exact oh, no. texts. Oh no. And um, <clears throat> it's also kind of in her own t kind of tone because this is not exactly how it was said by the teacher. But <clears throat> let's get started. Here goes. Okay, so it's the 80s and there's a grad student who's directing Shakespeare's A Winter Tale for his thesis. A Winter's Tale is a, of course, is famous for being one of Shakespeare's only plays to have a stage stage direction that is exit pursued by bear. <laughs> the student wants the bear to be the scariest, most realistic bear oh ever. God. Like his vision for the show is to just have this really scary bear. Scary <laughs> All right. Bear. Like he wants the audience to believe it's a real bear and a die. scary bear. Yeah. <laughs> so. He goes to the costume designer, and she's like, Well, I'm not a fucking miracle worker. <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. Jeez, man. So he's doing research, and he finds his, this place in New York that specializes in really <laughs> accurate animal costumes. Okay, I was gonna say bear costumes. <laughs> but it's really expensive. It's almost his entire budget. Oh <laughs> but my god. He really, really wants the bear costume and says it's gonna be worth it. So. Uh, he looks at the catalog and picks out the bear costume and ordered it to rent it for Tech Week and the show weekend. So Monday of Tech Week comes and there's no bear costume. They oh, call no. the place and they're like, I don't know, we mailed it. What the fuck? <laughs> you don't just mail a bear costume. <laughs> and it doesn't come on Tuesday and it's Wednesday. And it's final dress and it still hasn't come. So he goes to the costume designer again, and he's defeated. And she's like, well, I do have some leftover carpet. What the fuck? So she That's throws the cute. suit together made of carpet, and it looks like a man wearing a lot of carpet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's Thursday now, and he finally gets a message that a huge package has arrived for him. And he is relieved that they're gonna have this bear costume and it's gonna be so great. So he rips open the box, oh, no. and staring back at him is Winnie the Pooh. No, no it isn't, dude. Straight up Winnie the Pooh with his paw in Why? a honey pot. Wait, what? Wait is it like a statue story, or cannot, a costume? And focus. he is defeated. Is he it a is costume? so defeated. But the lighting designer comes up and says, hey, We'll backlight the whole thing, so you'll just see the silhouette of a bear. <laughs> but they don't have boards and stuff because it's the 80s and stuff. And so the lighting designer is plugging things in and everything up until the show. And they're holding the the audience so they can rewire everything. Oh and the costume designer is taping the hand <laughs> so, it does, so that doesn't have the honey pot on it. <laughs> oh my so god. They are at least symmetrical <laughs> and, it's, and it's the show. I think it would have been some creative dissonance and, for the honey pot. Yeah. You know? And earlier in the show, some hapless freshman asked if he could be the bear and they were like, sure, why not? <laughs> but this is the first night they have the costume. They weren't able to uh, rehearse sorry, it all second. with the bear or what? But this is the first night they have the costume. They weren't able to practice it. 
and he puts right. on the costume, and he's too short, <laughs> and oh, he can't see out the eye holes. <laughs> God. And now everything is fucking dark because they're yeah. backlighting <laughs> it, and the bear is supposed to grab the actor, but he can't fucking see him. Listen, you gotta so be he's just to wandering the around the stage. <laughs> Swinging his arms out until he gives up and is in a grisly voice is like Where are you? <laughs> Fuck. He and said this actor, during a show? Yeah. <laughs> and the axe just jumps backward into Winnie the Pooh's arms <laughs> and they scream How and run off stage. Oh my god. <laughs> Why the fuck? Would it be Winnie the Pooh? Good. How did he went through a catalog and picked that out, and yeah. it still came out as Winnie the he damn Pooh? He went to the Pooh. bear people. <laughs> oh my God, that's that, ridiculous. That was exciting. That oh, specialized I felt like in I was there. bear costumes. Piston Honda just went horribly for me because yeah. I was so in tune to that story. But <laughs> Don Flamenco should be easy. That was. I don't get why. I don't anything. It why, just how does looks even... like a man wearing <laughs> a bunch of carpet. <laughs> 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 I wish I wish I could have that Winnie the Pooh costume anymore. It's just Winnie the Pooh <laughs> staring back at him With his I hand in a first, honey pot I thought at first it was like a statue of Winnie the Pooh No, it was a Winnie the Pooh costume yeah. That's From New worst. York That's the worst thing So you guys play any good indie games lately? <laughs> Indie games? Yeah. Um, I mean, Rust. Rust counts as an indie game, and yeah, that's got some huge like, development. Yeah, it's huge. <clears throat> um, that's uh, that's that's a pretty that's, that's a pretty good. I game. I want to buy Owl Boy. Hey, uh, really shut bad. your goddamn mouth, huh? I'm just worn down from telling that story. <laughs> what about uh? Who? <laughs> we need to get Brian some water or something. Uh, <laughs> I am still pretty thirsty because Aiden was oh supposed my to come gosh. over with a can of I Monster. I have to do everything. Uh... <laughs> but guess what? He didn't do. It was bring a can of Monster. Yeah, I'm sorry, Master. It should be. <laughs> Master. Oh god. No, no, I keep pressing the wrong Big thing. Hippo gorilla man. Come on, do one of your punches. Little little to there no people is. know do, that do, his do. name in Germany meant Big Little Hippo Man person. Big little hippo man person, <laughs> that's it. That's a complete lie. Um I'm sure it is. I'm trying to work and get Oh come, come on! Wah, wah, wah. Maybe we should tell Aiden the other story. Oh, the story about the foreign exchange student? Yep. And okay. the person that we know. That okay. I won't mention any I, names. I don't know the person. <laughs> well, I tutored her once. Yeah, I don't know her at all. <laughs> um. Anyway, Aiden knows who we're talking about because we always mention the name. Okay. We already I did. Might as well just do this. Uh, um. Okay. Come on. D so another great story. Just. I'm looking like a chump. Yet again. Um. So you know how at our high school, Aiden, mm -hmm. we ha always have foreign exchange students yeah. every year. Well. Well, not anymore because we're all in college. But go on. Yes, but we don't we we don't go to high school anymore. Yes. yes. But at our high school, we always had foreign exchange students from Spain yeah. or Argentina, depending on the time. Don't, don't French ones come too? Yeah, yeah. but they, they didn't matter as much because oh, they didn't okay. stay for long. Oh, okay. <laughs> God. Sorry, French. Sour. They Sorry, didn't stay the entirety for long. of the French community. <laughs> anyway, so usually, like. The foreign exchange students go out and do activities with their, you know, with their master. <laughs> what their the master, fuck, Brian? <laughs> Why would you ever say that? <laughs> anyway. Oh, um, God, that got me good. <laughs> anyway, but, uh, oh. so this one, this girl has a foreign exchange student. Come on. First night she's there, she makes the foreign exchange student sleep in the same bed as her. Okay. So, this foreign so exchange student so is that a female or a male? It's a female. It's they a female. The yeah, they have to match up. Those people be fricking and fracking all day long. <laughs> That's I, how mean, it I don't goes. see a problem with that. <laughs> I don't anyway, see a problem with that at all. Um, and this foreign exchange student is not allowed to go anywhere with the group. So literally, it's the worst trip ever already for sure. this foreign exchange student. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and usually. Uh, on a certain night, the, all the foreign exchange students will go with the hosts and their teachers to the Bulls game. But this one was not allowed to go, obviously. Right. I don't know, because... because obviously. The reason, the reason being, um, they had to have quality family dinner time. Okay. Together. So... So instead of going to a Bulls game, they, they had quality family dinner time. Yes. Probably some American ass food <laughs> that her dad made on the on the on the grill. It gets better, don't okay. worry. <laughs> anyway, so 
the are uh, the for person we know is there and we'll, we'll call her we'll call her um Call her Grace. We'll call her Grace, yes. Her name's not actually Grace, but we'll call her Grace. <laughs> wink, wink. Yes. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> we'll call her Grace. And Grace and her foreign exchange student, uh, we won't name her because that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Just tell the story. Uh, <laughs> call her Jose. And her dad, her dad, who is a firefighter, and this matters to the story, and her grandma are sitting at dinner, and all is going well, besides the fact that the foreign exchange student would much rather be at the Bulls game. Um, but then in the middle, in the middle of dinner, grandma face plants onto what her the food. Fuck? Like knocked out? Yeah, essentially. Oh, shit. And, you know, like, shit, what are we gonna do? Wow, now we gotta take grandma to the hospital. But, Thanks, grandma, no, for no, ruining no. dinner. No, no, no. One second. One second. He's pulling Sorry. something up, people. No, I'm not Don't pulling Don't hold your up. breath. My computer went dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to say, get it again. He can um, help it. Anyway. So, you know, Dad, as a firefighter. Yeah. What do you think he would do? Like CPR? Or like the Heimlich? You'd be wrong. You'd be, why, you'd why, be why, wrong why, if you would be that? wrong because Dad... Pulls grandma up by the hair. Oh god. Drags her into the other room. By the hair or no? Yes. What the fuck? What Comes is back into the dining room, sits down, and finishes his dinner. What the living fuck? Then dinner has ended. And they decide, oh, we should probably take grandma to the hospital. Yeah, maybe. She's take not grandma to the hospital. Anymore. Grandma is dead. She's 100% <laughs> dead? She is fucking dead. Good God, man. And we know this person? We do know this person. I'll, I'll tell you the name after the yeah. start. After living the episode. Fuck. The grandma just died? The grandma's dead. And he grabbed her by the damn hair? The exchange student is sobbing. Because she, she just witnessed someone yeah. die. This is how we deal with in America, lady. She texts through her tears, texts another foreign exchange student who is at the Bulls game. <laughs> this grandma just died. And, and she has the mother of that, or the host of that foreign exchange student. Come pick her up. Come pick her up. Yeah. So that host speeds over to Grace's house. Yeah. And when, like when she gets there, she's banging on the horn. Come on, we we're gotta get out of here! Exchange student They're killing grandma! Runs out of the house, bags packed uh, already. <laughs> the mom's like, get in the car! Opens up the van get side in the door. Car. <laughs> she dives in. <laughs> and foreign exchange student gets in, speeds away, and leaves Grace at home with no foreign exchange student and a dead and grandma. A dead <laughs> grandma. <laughs> Do she like pronounce dead like professionally or did like at dad... the hospital okay. she was pronounced what the dead fuck <laughs> that's my story that's so fucked oh you gotta be kidding me that punch was timed perfectly oh Wait. man why are you punching because i because yeah because there's a one punch knockout you can do if you don't hit him at all oh, okay. during the thing and you just get him on the first hondo rush I but <laughs> I, I, I timed that punch pretty well but it was still yeah, like you guys ever, you ever seen the movie old boy yeah, of course. Oh my god, I love dude. that movie. Wait, are you talking about, are you so talking about the good. Korean one or the, the American one? Korean one. Oh, the the American one's also pretty good, but the Korean one is a has a way is more messed same? up ending. Is it the same? It's story? the same movie, but no the ending's way, different, dude. I, dude, that movie is so good. That movie's the ending though, where like he's like he go gets his okay. Memory spoilers, blessed. guys, if you want to watch. If you haven't seen the movie, at the end watch. of the movie, he he ends up like some guy ends up ha him having sex with his daughter. Yeah. Like, he sets it up, and he then because he because he found out that the dude was having sex with his sister, so naturally, right? So he that's how you get revenge. He imprisons this man and hypnotizes him into having sex with his own daughter. Right, and at the end, he's like he gets his memory wiped, so him and his daughter can live happily yeah, can ever live after. Happily ever. It's fucked. It's really gross. But at the end of the uh, the American movie, he just goes back into the prison and. And he's like, I can live the rest of my life here because this is all that I know. And wow. it's way cooler because the action scenes are way better because it's not from yeah. like the 80s. Yeah, the action scenes were like a little bit, I don't know, they were cool. There's a, it's really violent, so if you don't like, <laughs> if you don't like fucking people's teeth getting ripped out. Don't. Have, you ever, have you ever seen the movie The Raid? No. It's a crazy like Taiwanese like parkour action movie. Uh, but it's basically like, it's like that movie. Is the American one. Dude, I, dude, that was such a good fucking movie. It was Oh boy, was, I like it set... 
The end, it's like the only movie I've ever watched where the bad guy literally completely wins. Yeah. Basically. Other yeah. than, you know, him shooting himself in the in the elevator. Yeah. But, but I mean, the good guy, like, cut his own tongue out. Yeah. Like, For, that was the oh one God, thing I in. really didn't like. How, like, he just literally collapsed at the end. He was this big old badass the entire movie, and then at the end he's like, "Well, I had sex with my daughter. I lose. <laughs> hey, I gotta jump in. Do you wanna? Do you wanna make this one episode or several? Um, I, we could just make it one long one. I mean, I'm already most of the way through the game. Okay. And maybe, maybe if I if I get to Mr. Dream in this episode, then uh, we can make that an episode in itself. Yeah, you're doing actually pretty good, dude. You're in the second or third. Ah, third, and I'm starting to fall apart now because yeah, I looked maybe, away from the screen. Maybe after uh, after this round. You want to cut it? Yeah. All right, that seems yeah, like a fair right. cut. All right, so after, so next time, I'm going to keep fighting Vodka Drunkinski here. Yeah. <laughs> As Doc just mashes so, uh, my bicep with his pop. right fist. Soda Popinski, excuse me. <laughs> Whatever. The Look, original, it clearly says pop the original on his game, bottle. The original game, he was Vodka Drunkinski. Doc is so fucked in this. Like, <laughs> All right, we'll see, we'll see you in the next video.